I have a question for all youth players out there who only play one position. You identify yourself as a shortstop or a pitcher, and that's the only position you play because you love that position. That's your position. Have you ever thought about playing more than one position? What about two or three or four? In today's Bullpen Bulletin, we're discussing my three biggest reasons why youth players should play as many positions as they can while they're playing youth baseball. Hey team, Coach Hart here with Building Better Baseball, the best place for baseball education. If this is your first video and we're meeting for the first time, be sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you can learn something new about baseball every week. As we're moving along through the new season, you might be noticing that you're in need of some new equipment and you're looking to get a new bat or a glove or anything else. How do you find the best fit? I made a free equipment guide just for you. It covers everything you need to know about how to find the perfect equipment fit. Make sure you grab it in the description below. And for all coaches watching this who are looking for some help fine-tuning their practices and you want some tips on making your practices more efficient, I made a free two-hour practice plan that will really help you out. It's complete with two practice blueprints and it's linked in the description below. Be sure to grab it. Now, let's discuss why youth players should play as many positions as they can during youth baseball. My first reason is you will develop a wider range of skills. Baseball is such a unique sport because each position on the field requires a different set of skills to play that position. Playing outfield is not exactly the same as infield. Infield is not the same as pitching. And there's no position on the field that's similar to catching. If you play outfield, the main skills that you're going to need are being able to track a high fly ball, pursuing balls from all angles, on the ground and in the air, running backwards, running forwards, and to the sides, and using your entire body with a crow hop to throw the ball to each base. If you play infield, your main skills will be fielding ground balls and pursuing balls to each side that are usually in front of you. Yes, there will be some times when you have to run backwards for a fly ball, but most balls in the infields are pop-ups, line drives, and ground balls that are in front of you that you don't need a crow hop to throw to first base. These are just two examples, but I think you get my point. If you limit yourself to only playing one position in baseball, you will only develop the skills needed for that specific position. If any hit happens that's not usual for your position, such as a sky-high fly ball to a catcher, for example, you won't be nearly as prepared to field or catch the ball because you're not used to that specific play. If you play multiple positions, you will be ready and know how to field any ball hit to you and be confident that you can field or catch the ball because you've seen that play before at another position. Every player should have the intent of being the most well-rounded player that they can be and playing multiple positions when you're young will dramatically help you in being a well-rounded player. My second reason is you're going to get more playing time. Let's say that you're on a team that has 15 players. We know that baseball has nine positions, so only nine players can be playing at one time every inning. If you think about it, if you limit yourself to playing only one position, you are only giving yourself a one out of nine chance to play every inning. And what happens if there are other players who play your position? What if you're a third baseman and there are two other third basemen on the team? Now you're giving yourself less than a one out of nine chance to get on the field every inning because you say that you only play one position and there are two other players who play that same position who also have a one out of nine chance to play. Limiting yourself to one position won't allow for much playing time because of the number of players on the team and the fact that all positions have multiple players who are able to play each position. Now, think about if you're comfortable playing pitcher, middle infield, and outfield. Outfield has three positions, middle infield is two, and pitcher is one. So every inning, you're giving yourself a six out of nine chance to play in the field. That sounds a lot better than one out of nine, doesn't it? It won't matter if there are multiple players who can play at one position because you can easily switch to another position. There's someone playing shortstop? It's okay, put me in second base. There's someone playing second? That's cool, put me in center field, or right field, or left field. If you try and play as many positions as possible while you're in youth baseball, you will get much more playing time than a player who says, I'm only a first baseman. And don't forget, more playing time means more exposure to the game and seeing different plays from different angles, which means much quicker improvement with skills and baseball IQ. My third reason is you will be more valuable at any tryout you go to. Before I talk about this reason, I want to clarify to all players that just because I'm saying that you will be more valuable at tryouts if you play multiple positions, that does not mean that you won't be valuable if you only play one position. There are so many players out there in youth baseball who play only one position and any coach would be lucky to have them on their team. With that being said, 
I do believe that you make yourself more valuable to a coach at any level if you can say that you play multiple positions. Think about it from a coaching perspective. You're a high school coach and you're having tryouts for the JV team. All the players trying out have just graduated from youth baseball and they're ready to play at the high school level. The coach pulls two players aside to talk to them about what positions they play. One player says, I'm a shortstop coach. I have a little experience at second base, but my position is shortstop. I won't let you down. The coach in his mind is thinking, well, we already have two shortstops coming back from last season, so he will be a third shortstop who maybe can play second base. He turns to the other player who says, I can play anywhere, coach. The only thing I can't do is pitch. Put me anywhere in the outfield or infield. I played catcher for a season a few years ago as well, so if you need me to catch, I can catch. The coach in his mind is thinking, this is awesome. We're pretty full on infielders, but we only have two catchers and we're thin in the outfield. This guy could really help us out. With the first player, the coach will have to use a roster spot for a player who can only play one position, and that position already has two players coming back from last season. With the second player, the coach is using one roster spot for a player who can play eight positions. Which one do you think a coach would say is more valuable to them? I think we would all choose the second player. When you try out for a new team, the most important thing you can say when a coach asks what position you play is, I can play anywhere. My primary position is blank, but I can play anywhere. Make sure you play as many positions as you can when you're young. It will really help you when you try out for a new team or try out at the next level. For all players watching this, leave a comment below and let me know how many positions you play and what those positions are. I'd love to hear from you. Remember, if you play multiple positions during youth baseball, you will develop a wider range of skills, you will get more playing time, and you will be more valuable at tryouts when you try out for any team. Make sure you play as many positions as you can. And don't forget to grab your free guide for new equipment and your free two-hour practice plan linked below. Thanks for tuning in to today's video. I hope this clarified any confusion players have about playing multiple positions and that the next time that you're out on the field, you'll try something new that will improve your baseball future. Tune in next week for another edition of the Bullpen Bulletin.